home from school with the lunchbox and minivan. My uncle stood in front of me and gave me a cold stare. Told me to go upstairs and wait there. I did just that, but curiosity had me scared. More scared than being locked in a casket filled with tarantula stand. As he came upstairs, the end of my room, his smile was cold. He stared at me and told me to take off my clothes, but I said no. But he forced it off me and told me to do as I told. I tried, trying to break free from a tight hole, but he's too strong and wouldn't let go. I screamed the tears begin to flow as I watched my uncle taking off his clothes. As he rang his impurities into my pure my soul, I felt sicker than a patient with full blown AIDS flowing out of control. I cried hey, like boy. a child having nightmares and afraid to close his eyes. Cry like a child without his mother by his side. Cry like a child with walls surrounding him. Cry like a child in deep end of the pool with it's his tears he's drowning in. I blame God. Because after my uncle playing this video game, he called for my name. I be hiding under the bed praying that his mind has changed. But it never goes my way, so God is who I blame. Because as I'm being dragged from the floor, he treats me like one of his toys as this video takes me for a sexual game. Every time I look at him, my stomach turns his back on him. It's like the devil on my shoulder, I'm gonna laugh with him. Cutting my son, give me reason why I can't chat with him. When he think about him, let me, I pray that his manhood and everything else collapse with him. I will God. No bad for throw can wash away the shame. Because I can keep washing and washing and still feel the same. I was an eight year old child crying for hope. I'd rather die hoping he feel how I felt like. Cutting my arms and lynching him with my veins. Cutting my chest open. Forcing my heart in his eyes. I can pack his eyes so he can see my pain. Yes. Some say I'm a saint. And I guess I am. Because the definition of a saint is traumatic experience and entering your skull, eating the inside of your brain. I was so mad at God. I wanted his blood dripping from the sky. And every time I look at myself in the mirror, the mirror cries. I blame God. Every time I'm near my uncle, I throw up. And just when I'm about to hang myself, God shows up. He said you wanna die, you think that you should. But what the enemy meant for bad, I can turn around and feel good. And God said, he said every time the world is spinning around, every chain that was bound on the you stop going to the ground. When your uncle wanted you dead, I kept you alive. And when you cry, the enemy from the sky to wipe the tears from your eyes. Be victorious in every area of life. That's how I did.